Well, good afternoon, everybody. Yes, I am on a motorbike. I'm riding. Look at that. So, just a few things, uh, which, you know, I will address as we go on, because off the top of my head, I can't really remember all of the things I was going to address immediately. But, uh, first of all, yes, we drive on the left side of the road, which is very weird to majority of the planet. Also, just two more things that I need to address because I didn't realize they were happening as they were happening. Yes, I totally forgot to fasten my helmet. I forgot the chin strap. Whoops. Secondly, I didn't realize the audio sounded like this. It's a new audio setup, so I'm still working out the kinks, but the audio will sound better in the next video, so hopefully it's not too annoying. Not a lot of places drive on this side. I don't know why we drive on this side. Not a big fan of it, but we drive on the left. So, please, no comments about how I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Because <laughs> this is the side that we drive on. Secondly, you may have noticed that this bike is a piece of shit. It is a 125. It is not the, the bike that a lot of people saw me buy on Instagram. This is actually a 125 that I bought off like a local trading website, much like Craigslist. In the US, this is, uh, there's Gumtree. Bought a bike of Gumtree because I just wanted to practice. And I am way above bikes this size. I'm really wringing the neck off this thing to keep up with the, the car in front of me. Look at that! Look at this thing! So this is 60 miles an hour, I'm gonna try and get this bike that fast. You can really hear the engine, I hope you can hear me over the engine. <laughs> All right, then we got it. We got 60. Woo! We got it. God damn. I am so surprised this thing is going that fast. All right, you know what? Let's go in the, la the slow lane. Sixty-three. Look at that. And look at my wrist. I am maxed out on this throttle. This is that's as fast as this thing is gonna go. <laughs> No, we got it. We got 60. That's good. So, as you uh, as you guys may know, the world is going into uh, like a global lockdown. Uh, especially here in the UK, where we're going through many different levels of lockdown over and over again. Uh, places are allowed to open for about a week at a time, and then they have to close again. We're going into a six-week lockdown, uh, basically on, on Boxing Day. So no more haircuts for six weeks, no more driving lessons for six weeks, uh, and also the driving test that I had uh, scheduled for the end of January is now gone. It's 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 not until the end of February now. All right, 40 miles an hour. Let's slow down. So we're actually just heading out to Bangor here. Bangor. Uh, no, not the one in Wales. There is also one here in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's quite nice. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, because there's a lot of one-way roads, as there are with a lot of uh, seaside towns. There's a lot of one-way roads. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Look at this traffic, man. Jesus. I guess it's like the final week before lockdown and before Christmas. So I guess that's, that's probably why these people are out for that reason. But yes, we're going to Bangor today, uh, which is a nice little seaside town. And uh, it's, it's actually a really great place. There's like a little dock there and stuff. And there's a really nice walk that goes along the coastal path. Which we will not be going on, obviously, because we're on a motorbike. But uh, getting out of it is a pain in the ass. Uh, because you have to take like a little rural rural, rural route uh, to get out of it. There's no... You can't just double back. You can't just go back the way you came. Which is, which is a pain. And we're in first. We're in first. Do the checks before we take off. So you're probably wondering, Jake, why did you get a little 125? Uh, why didn't you just wait? Well, I did have uh, a motorbike test, but as I got there, it got cancelled, so I wasn't able to take my full license. So the Honda CBR 650R that I bought, the 2021 edition, beautiful bike. We'll have to sit in Honda at the dealership until, geez, uh, Feb uh, no, January 25th, which is, no, 27th, which is when my motorbike uh, test is. 
so it's just gonna have to sit there until then. Granted, I pass, which is actually why I bought this, uh, because I wanted to practice, you know, uh, because because of the the, the current pandemic, uh, because of uh, the scarcity of tests and stuff, and the fact that you know a lot of people are trying to test, and because you can't you can't get a car at the moment, a lot of people are now opting to get motorbikes instead. Uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of tests being booked up. Uh, there's not a lot of tests being given out. Let's kick up a gear. There we go. Starting to lose this guy. So basically, if if I don't pass this test, this motorbike test, then uh, I will have to wait for you know who knows how long uh, for another test. So I really, really don't want to blow it. <laughs> Fifth gear was was not pulling me. Did anyone see that? <laughs> this bike is awful. Don't do it, don't do it. There you go. You gotta be careful with that, man. You gotta be careful with uh, with cages coming out of, uh, coming out of junctions like that because, you know, they don't see bikes. They don't see them, man. So you're probably wondering what bike this is. This is, uh, it's a it's a shitty little Lex Moto, which is like an off-brand, sort of Yamaha-looking thing. But yeah, it's a, it's a Lex Moto 125, X, X, V, Z, V, something like that. And I've, uh, I've been running around a lot on it, um, sort of just trying to get used to the roads and, you know, learn how to read the signs, because, like, I'm not a car driver, you know, I've not been, I've not been riding on the roads for, you know, for so long that I, I just know how roads work and, and signs like that, you know, so this is all very new to me. So I, I got a motorbike to learn how to read the roads as I'm riding on them, so, you know, I can focus less because you know you you figure it, you're learning how to you know work the bike and read the roads and read the signs and shit like that and making sure that you're riding safely. You know you you want to make sure that you're 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 doing everything correctly so that you can pass your test. I gotta say the brakes on this aren't bad. They are not bad. So yeah, I'm just trying to learn the roads so that whenever I take the test, you know, it's I have a lot more going in my favor. But the the thing is, is that um. What's annoying is that I'm so much more used to riding a 650 than I am than riding this. Because uh, I only I was only on a 125 for a little while before I moved up to the 650 class because of uh, how much of a natural rider I was. So I've had actually I've had more experience on a 650. But I can't legally ride one on the road, uh, at least on my own. So I'm having to use a 125. But yeah, I mean, there's like so much pressure. There's so much pressure on this test now because if I don't pass it, then I'll have to do another one. And you know, who knows when there'll be another one? You know, you know what I mean? It's not like before, you know, where it's like you fail a test and it's like it's a bit of a bummer, and you're just like, oh man, you know what? No, it's fine. I'll just book it next week and I'll do it again. If I blow it, if I if I don't pass the test, uh, then like like I've said twice already, uh, it could who knows when I could take another one. So, and I really don't want that Honda sitting there any longer than it than it needs to be. So, oh, I'm so glad the roads are dry today because the roads have been wet for weeks, and it's not that it's been raining. Yes, it has rained. Obviously, that's why the roads are wet. But the thing is, is that uh, the, it, there's not enough daylight. Like, it's already starting to die. Oh, 60, all right. <laughs> Let me see if I can. This is uphill. Can we do it? Can we do it? 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, yeah, 58, 59, 60. Sweet! We are now going the speed limit. But yeah, I really don't want it sitting there any longer than it needs to be sitting there. I want to ride it, you know, because I'm not actually allowed on motorways with this thing. This is not a motorway. This is uh, this is a dual carriageway. It's an A road and does not actually count as a motorway. 
the bike is acting a little bit squirrely, which is is not confidence-inducing. Well, that's a, that's the thing. That's another thing about this bike is that it, it is not confidence-inducing at all. It's it's not a powerful bike. It's not the most stable bike. Uh, speaking of which, whenever I bought this from the dude, uh, it actually broke twice. <laughs> it broke the night I got it. Uh, the gear lever actually fell off. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the anatomy of a bike, uh, the gear shifter is located uh, on your left foot, at your toes. It's like a little lever that goes up and down. And uh, to, to shift uh, up into first, you click down, and then to shift up into second, you click up through neutral. It's a bit. Of, it's, it's what they call one down, five up. It's a. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, especially trying to find neutral, because some bikes can be really finicky about that shit. Um, but yeah, the, the lever that does that came off, uh, which was kind of scary. Oh, green. Sweet. Let's go. That's it. Look. That's the throttle full. And now we smell fire. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, the gear lever fell off, and very nicely, the guy who, who I bought it from literally that night uh, he, he took it and he got it fixed for me and he brought it back and that was real neat. Sadly, a couple of days after I got it back, uh, it fell off again because it turns out it was just welded on. It was just welded on. Uh, and not very well either. Um, which was actually the main problem, was that it was not welded on very well. So it fell off again, uh, which then I paid for. Uh, I was just like, you know what, I'm not gonna bother this guy again. Uh, I'm just gonna take it in myself, you know, get it fixed up. Uh, so I, I took it in. Thankfully, it was not expensive at all uh, because there is a Lexmoto dealership not too far from me and they sort of fixed it up uh, for pretty cheap, I gotta say. Pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, less than a less than hundred bucks it was to fix this. So, uh, and I also got the gears cleaned as well because the, the gears were not doing great. Uh, it was super spongy and sludgy trying to shift gear. Um, which was an absolute pain in the ass. I'm in fifth. Let me hang on. There we go. Yeah, fourth will do. Yeah, it was like super sludgy and stiff, and it wouldn't go into fourth, <laughs> uh, which was another big problem, as you can imagine. It would not go into fourth. And uh, I took it in. I said, "Yeah, so uh, there's all these problems with it. Like it won't go into fourth. The gears are super spongy and sludgy and gross." Uh, also, yeah, the gear lever fell off. Uh, so he was like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." And he fixed it up. He fixed it for me in a week, which is which is great. And now it seems to be running really well. And the the gear shifter is like super comfortable. Just making sure that it's not smoking <laughs> behind me, because <laughs> you know I am so worried. Uh, that the, the engine on this thing is just gonna blow. You know, because you, you heard the- you may have heard the thing. Or in fact, you may have heard nothing but the engine on the, uh, on the motorway there. Uh, it is just full tilt trying to- trying to get down that road. Are there motorcyclists over there? Actually, no, what is that? What is you- what- what actually is that? <laughs> Look at this thing! It's like a mobility trike! That is the coolest thing I've ever seen! I'm actually thinking, should I turn right here, head back? Do you know what? No, we'll 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 go through Banger and I'll show you what it looks like. Because it, it's just down there. That like Banger's down there. So, oh, little dog. Sorry, dog. I didn't mean to rev the engine. Sorry. Pull into. I'll see if I can pull into a car park whenever we get into Banger. But like I was saying, Banger is an absolute mess of one-way roads, and it's not entirely clear <laughs> where the car park turnings are. I actually went down a one-way road uh, by complete accident because there were no signs saying it is a one-way road. I thought maybe you could go back up the hill, which you can't. You can't. You have to. You have to go through the entire town and back out the other side and then double back that way, which is why I didn't like. I don't like Banker. <laughs> so I, I actually can't believe that we hit 60 on this thing. I really can't believe it. But the reason why this bike is so effing loud. Is because the 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 fellow that I bought it from, his son put an aftermarket muffler on this thing, and it's so loud. <laughs> it it does not sound like a 125. I got I gotta give it to him. It does not sound like a, a 125 at all. 
Uh, maybe when you really start getting the revs up, it starts sounding a little bit, you know, meh. Yeah, we're good, we're good, bud. It smells like burning. I so hope it's not this bike. <laughs> oh, the seat. The seat is overheating. Let's go Jira t-shirt. What? There is a dude singing opera in the shop window. What? That was awesome. But look at look at all these people breaking breaking COVID rules. <laughs> you should be wearing masks, people. You should be inside. Oh, it's so busy. When first or what? Oh, that's another thing. <laughs> The petrol light is on, that's broken. It always says I have no gas, uh, which is an absolute pain in the ass, as you can probably imagine. Uh, another thing as well is that the gear indicator does not switch on until I hit fourth. So your gas is as good as mine. If I lose count of what gear I'm in, then I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, look at this place, a nice, cute little, why is there a coffee shop open? What, what is going on? Hey guys, guess what? The pandemic didn't hit Bangor, yeah! Alright, so we need to go up here. So this is the little seaside town. The dock is over there. Over there. Oh shit, I stole the engine. I actually stole the engine, do you see that? I have not done that since I got this bike. Holy shit. I hope the bike isn't about to die on me, because that, that was weird. The engine is actually starting to sound a little bit weird too, so... I'm gonna get this back. I'm gonna have a look at... <laughs> I'll let this guy out here. Creeping up this hill is an absolute pain in the ass. I just realized I have my night lights on the whole time. I mean, for motorbikes, I think you're actually meant to have a riding light on the whole time, so it's not really too big a deal. So you can see that the light is already starting to die. It's already a lot darker than what it was when we first set out. I don't know if the ISO on these cameras has fixed that or not, but... Yeah, it is starting to get dark. Look at this dude. Look at this dude right here. Let's just go around this fella. Anyway. So, you're probably wondering, Jake, Christmas plans, what is going on? Uh, so yes, Christmas plans. The tree is up, it has not been decorated, but I actually got a tree, I got a real life tree for the first time in, jeez, I think 10 years. I think there was, there was, because we got a fake tree most of the time. But in the Monroe household, we always had a real tree, and I always loved the smell of the pine trees, very nostalgic, so we got one of those. But the thing immediately started to die. Uh, so now there are pine needles everywhere. So, and it's not even been decorated because like me and Kaya, are, like we're just, we, we have such bad seasonal affective disorder every single year. So, so bad. And it, it, you know, it gets worse as the year goes on, especially going into January. So we're just struggling to get work done, which is why I haven't been posting as often as I, as I was through, uh, through summer and autumn. Uh, or the entire year, I should say, because, you know, I, I, I post pretty often. But I have been streaming, you know, which is super fun. But one of the reasons, guys, one of the reasons why I have not been uh, doing as many videos as I usually do uh, is because I've actually put on a lot of weight. <laughs> I have put on a lot of weight, um, which I'm not really, f like, happy about at all. I'm not dealing well with it. All right, let's follow the signs for Belfast here. We'll follow, I think this Hyundai, I think this Hyundai is going. Alright, so we're on the road back to Belfast. Look at the sky. Look at it. So yes, I've actually put on a lot of weight uh, on account of, you know, seasonal defective disorder and uh, not being able to go to the gym. Uh, a lot of the work I've been doing and, you know, I can't, I can't exercise outside uh, because it's very cold. It's very wet. It's very dark, uh, so it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant to exercise outside at all. So, with Belfast, while well, Northern Ireland going into another lockdown, uh, I am going to have to try and find a new way to exercise. I've definitely, I'm gonna start getting my diet uh, like fixed because my diet is the main problem. Hang on, let's let's overtake this person here right here.
there we go. They were they were going very slow. Oh, oh red! Come on! Right, I need to find the right lane here because finding the right lane is such a pain in the freaking ass. Alright, this middle lane. Yep, this is Belfast. What the hell was I talking about? I was talking about something. Yes, the weight thing. So yes, I'm gonna have to try and find a way to uh, get the weight off while uh, while the gyms are all closed, which I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that, but you know, I'll, I'll think of a way. You know, there's a bunch of space uh, over at the space. As you guys know, I have my uh, my studios and stuff, and there should, there should be a lot of space over at the studios. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get some like home exercise gear. Wait, am I still going to Belfast? Is this the right way? Did I just go the right way? I don't know, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking at the signs. This looks right. I think this is right. I think so. I have- this is the second time I've- I've done this route, so... <laughs> I don't know if this is right. Come on, I need- I need some signs. There's a sign down there. Second... Fist. There we go. Oh, a CC. A CC is, uh... It's a- it's a pet. It's an animal foster home, which is where we got our cat, Sebastian, from. But yeah, there's actually some really exciting things happening at the moment, which we're, we're in the process of, uh, of organizing. It's gonna be pretty big, I, I gotta say. I think people are gonna be really excited about it. Yeah, Belfast, Belfast straight ahead. Why is this dude trying to cross here? Oh, my third. Yeah, there's very exciting things happening in, in 2021, uh, including... Uh, but not limited to uh, a tour for Monroe. Uh, we're being very optimistic about it. Uh, and the only reason why I'm saying a tour might be happening is because there are a bunch of other bands who are also who have also booked dates in, at the end of uh, 2021. So I'm just remaining hopeful that they know something we don't, um, or that the vaccine will be spread uh, enough by then so that you know everyone can safely attend a show. But we just want to play for you guys as much as possible. Uh, we want, cause like, a lot of people will want us to go to the US, you know, which I want to do, I want to go to the US, but, uh, it's very expensive, very, very expensive to do that, but I, I, I honestly believe that, uh, it would be a very successful tour if we toured North America, um, so I think it might, I think it might break even, <laughs> I think, but yeah, I think it, it would be a very successful tour with, like, a lot of big shows, uh, which would be neat. I'd love that, uh, but I think maybe we're just going to start with Europe and the UK. Uh, but now, touring Europe is going to be expensive, uh, because I am the only one in the band who is a UK resident. Everyone else is either Irish or Bulgarian, uh, so they can tour the, the EU without, you know, without any uh, visa problems, but I am going to have to sort out some sort of visa to tour Europe, which is great. Thank you, Brexit! I'm gonna have to figure that out, but that's fine. I'm gonna talk to management about that, and they'll they'll let me know, you know, how I can do that, uh, or how much that's gonna cost. Thankfully, it's only one of us, you know? It's, it's just me that would need to get a visa. Uh, whereas, you know, going to the US, you know, two, like, all of us would need visas. So that would be very expensive. So at least for Europe only, I would need a visa. So I wouldn't have to pay too much for that uh, as a band, I guess. Uh, but Mon Monroe, the band itself, uh, seems to be self-sustaining at the moment, which is fantastic. Uh, all the Spotify plays are doing really well. Um, all the videos are doing really well. The only thing we haven't done yet, aside from touring, but something we can be doing right now, uh, is merch. We haven't been doing merch, <laughs> so I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna put together some Monroe merch because uh, we'll definitely need it for when we go on tour. You know, it's what is this? Pick a lane. What are you doing? What is this? Why are you? Why are you here? <laughs> why are you all the way on the left side of the lane? So yeah, I'm gonna get some merch put together for Monroe, uh, which is which is you know the fellas want have been wanting that for a while, and you know it's all about trying to make the band self-sustaining and the goal, the goal for next year is to get at least one of the guys off and <laughs> yeah I'm gonna get one of the guys off <laughs> no let's get one of the guys off their, their day job and doing Monroe full-time 
um, you know, on like a salary and stuff like that. So their job will be uh, checking the parts of the, the demos that I send them and, you know, touring and doing that kind of stuff. Which would be super cool. I'd love to have at least one of them. And it's likely... I'm not going to say which one. Um, but there's a there's a few of us who love our jobs. Uh, like me, for example. Gaz. Gaz the drummer loves his job. So... It's not necessary for, for me to try and get everyone off. Uh, a lot of people can... A lot of the guys in the band can take as much time off as they need to. So... It's not like their day jobs are getting in the way at all, but it'd be super cool. Like if we can tour, if we can, I want to do a tour in 21 and then all the way through 21, we'll see how the tour goes for, uh, for that. And we'll see like uh, financially how much of us. Okay, so I'm about to miss a turn and it's this sign. I missed this sign right here because I'm too busy talking about Monroe or whatever. But for some reason, Bangor, which is a small seaside town, I have no idea why the road that goes out of Bangor has two main roads going back into it. I have no idea why. But, yeah, this is the this is the sign that I missed. This is the turning I missed, and this is why I end up back in Bangor later on in the video. <laughs> it's so stupid. And if it was great, if it was, like, really successful, then by the end of the 2022 tour cycle, uh, I'll know if, you know, I can sustain uh, at least one of the members for for, you know, full-time Monroe- Monroe-manship. Oh! God, the bike just died. That was really weird. Please get me home. Please- please get me home. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me stalling the bike. That was the bike just... dying. The bike just died. The engine cut out. I thought maybe I was out of gas. Um, but I checked before I came out and there should be plenty of gas, at least for this journey. I don't recognize this street, but this should still be going towards... Belfast. Anyway, I mean, Belfast, Northern Ireland is, is tiny. <laughs> it's a small, small place. But yeah, it'd be nice to get at least one of the guys off, uh, on the Monroe payroll. That'd be super neat. I actually have no idea where I am. This is saying town center, so I'm assuming that means... Belfast town, but I don't know why they would just, would just call it city center. I've obviously taken a wrong a wrong turn somewhere, but I don't know where I am. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. We'll find our way home. All right, I'm actually gonna be looking for signs now that say Belfast. Oh, I think I know where I am. I think I'm in Hollywood. I think I'm in Hollywood. Uh, or oh, Hollywood. It's spelled Hollywood, but everyone around here calls it Hollywood. I'm not entirely sure why they do that. Um. Because maybe Hollywood sounds cooler than Hollywood. Hollywood sounds like a, a priest's boner or something. Can this can this person see me? Can they see me? Can they see me? You saw me. Thank you. It's probably because this bike is so freaking loud. But uh, we already have demos lined up for uh, for 2021 uh, because we we pretty much hit every every EP that we needed to, every single release that we needed to for this year. Uh, not on the the dates that we had ar you know arranged, but you know, we, we definitely had, we had, we definitely hit all the singles uh, that we wanted to release this year. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I've never been on these roads, but it's cool. It's fine, right? It's fine. I, I don't even have to break the line, man. That's what's cool about motorbikes. I don't have to break this line. I'm going to stay on this lane. Am I still in Bangor? No, I'm not still in Bangor, am I? Oh my God, I'm still in Bangor. What? Oh my God, I'm still in Bangor. I came back. <laughs> What the hell? Oh my god, I can't believe I came back here. Right, uh, I'm gonna have to pay attention to the roads because I just circled back to Bangor by complete accident. I- n <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh my god, the traffic is crazy. Oh my god, do I have the gas for this? That is the question, my friends. I thought this was Hollywood! I went miles! Like, how am I still here? Oh, do you know what? Ah, oh, we're gonna have to do the whole ride back. Because it was on that was only the second time I've been on those roads. So I was just assuming that, uh... That I was going the right way. Anyway, whatever. We'll get back. There's, like, a lot of stuff. There's, like, a lot of demos, a lot of cameos we want to do. Personally, I want to do a lot of my own personal music. Releases. Um, collaborations, that kind of thing. Covers. Definitely covers. But yeah, 2021 is gonna be an exciting time. Exciting. We're hopefully finally gonna see the end of this pandemic by the end of next year. 
Uh, so we can have like a super fun Halloween and I can travel again and I can see all you guys and it'll be great. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna sign off here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first moto vlog. <laughs> it was complete chaos. Uh, but I had fun. I had fun. I really did. Uh, getting lost with you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, whenever I get the new bike, uh, we'll, we'll take the motorway and we'll, we'll explore new places together and it'll be fun and I'll be able to go a lot faster than, than this. I had a great day today because I made it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.